What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are going to be covering the five best things about the 2018 Royal Rumble pay-per-view. My god, last night was a great men's Royal Rumble. I gotta say, it should have been the main event, guys. I'm sorry, but you cannot discount the fact that main eventing WrestleMania is on the line for a championship match for the most coveted prize in the company, and that's not a bigger deal than the women's Royal Rumble. I don't know, man. But anyways... Um, I was really disappointed with the way they treated Dolph Ziggler. I think they totally threw that entire storyline, that month's worth of him missing SmackDown Live, totally thrown under the bus, and I wouldn't be surprised if he walked out of the company after that. I don't know where he goes from here, and that just totally ruined any chance at anything. He needed to look amazing in that Rumble last night, and it was just not meant to be. But even though we had a great Men's Royal Rumble, um, I want to cover the five best things that happened at the pay-per-view, so I'm going to get into those. Let's go ahead and get started. First things first, guys, these NXT talents right here, Adam Cole and CN almost looked absolutely incredible. Both of them were really big surprise entrants. Nobody expected the NXT champion CN almost and Adam Cole to make an appearance, you know, after their performances at NXT TakeOver was absolutely incredible. For them to show up in the Rumble was totally unexpected, and for both of them to have the showings that they did, it was just a freaking sight to see. They actually gave them a rub, you know, they had a lot of great, um, they did a lot of great things, they had some great interactions. Seeing Amos would probably get the, um, the better performance in my opinion, um, but... He did, uh, Adam Cole did look great as well, and I think it's really awesome that they even gave these guys a chance to shine, and that was definitely a plus for me at this show. Next up was that we got to see Rey Mysterio return to a WWE ring for the first time in a while. He looked absolutely fantastic. He is freaking jacked, man. He looks incredible. He was rocking a great attire as well, and he had a great performance. He eliminated Adam Cole. He, uh, he did a lot of great things in this Rumble. I'd love to see him mix it up. He was one of the final six participants, if I'm not mistaken, and it was a great little showing for Rey Mysterio. I hope to God this man is back for full time because he looks amazing, and he could easily wrestle for another five years. Did you see this man? He is freaking in shape. He's jacked. I follow him on Instagram, and I knew that he was, you know, looking good and in shape and stuff, but man, he freaking could fly around the ring. We got a lot of great 619 spots, and I'm very happy to see Rey back in WWE. WWE. Next up is that Asuka is the winner of the Women's Royal Rumble. There is absolutely no way it should have gone any way else. Um, Asuka looked fantastic in this match. She did win the thing, and I'm very happy to see that she won it. I mean, it's the most believable thing. I'm very glad that Ronda Rousey wasn't in it as well. This was fantastic. That they put Asuka over here, it's the right decision, and I'm just so glad that WWE went with this, and they didn't give us any BS, and they didn't let Ronda Rousey win. Next is that they did not give the Royal Rumble win to Roman Reigns. They could have easily done this, guys. As you know, WrestleMania 34 is supposed to be Brock Lesnar taking on Roman Reigns in the main event for the Universal Championship, and to be honest with you, I would not have put it past WWE to let this happen. I think that the Final Four of the Royal Rumble Rumble was totally booked perfectly. I agree with the final four. I hate the way that John Cena eliminated Finn Balor. I don't like that at all, but we probably should have seen it coming. Um, you know, Roman Reigns could have easily walked out as the Royal Rumble winner. WWE decided not to do that, and I think this was fantastic. I think that Philadelphia would have burned the dead gum building to the ground had this happened, but he did not end up winning, and I thought that was one of the better things about the pay-per-view. And last but not least, one of the best things, if not the best thing, coming out of this pay-per-view is that we are going to be getting AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania this match everyone has been waiting for. It should absolutely tear the house down. Probably the match of the night. It could be five stars at WrestleMania. We are finally getting this match. They have fought before at Wrestle Kingdom in New Japan, but I think on the WWE grandest stage of them all, this could easily be one of the greatest matches to ever occur in a WWE ring, and I'm just so happy that Shinsuke won over Roman Reigns, just because I did not want... We've known what the main event of WrestleMania is going to be for this whole like year, ever since last WrestleMania, so I'm very glad to see that they gave the win to Shinsuke in a very deserving... He worked his ass off all night in the ring, and I'm very happy that we are going to be getting this match at WrestleMania. 
But that is going to do it for this video, guys. Do you agree with me that this was the five best things that happened at Royal Rumble 2018? Please let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this video to 150 likes, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. I should have a Monday Night Raw review coming tonight as well. As soon as Raw ends, I will be working on that. So stay on the lookout for that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.